Can you recognize these PLLs from these angles? If not, this video is for you. Most cubers recognize PLLs by looking at patterns, headlights, blocks, and then filter out the rest. However, if you are using this method, your recognition probably looks like this. Maybe it's time to learn other methods. If we look only at the corners and we see these two stickers are the same and these two stickers are the same, we know that all corners are solved. Let's look around. You can see that it doesn't matter which side we are looking at. If these two are the same and these two are the same, all corners are solved. This is the case for H perm, Z perm and both U perms. Now this is a different case. It's often referred to as headlights because it reminds us of headlights for a car. These two stickers are the same and these two stickers aren't. It, it can be on a different orientation like this, where these two stickers are the same and these two stickers aren't. What happens when we don't see the headlights, when these headlights are not here or here, when they are in the back? Now, for this we call it bookends. And bookends means that this sticker and these stickers these two are the same. In here, this sticker and this sticker are the same. Every time you have headlights here or here, you'll have in the back bookends. These two stickers are the same and these two stickers are the same. But if we look only at this face and this face, how will we know where are the headlights? Well, if you have headlights here, you're going to have something called reverse headlights here, which these two stickers are opposite. You see that these are opposite of one another and these are adjacent. I said that here it's the opposite to the headlights. So let's see. Headlights. Opposite. Opposite. And from the back, headlights. The last case is when we don't see any bookends and we don't see any headlights. These two stickers are opposite. These two stickers are opposite. Opposite, opposite. This is the case for PLLs which swap the opposing corners. These two or these two. We see that in E, N, V, and Y perm. These are A perms. We know that by the 2x2 two two block here and the 2x2 two two block here. Here we have bookends, which means it's an A A perm because we have headlights somewhere. We know the headlights are here because the reverse headlights are here. Let's see. And here we have the reverse headlights here, so the headlights will be here. This means that this is an A A perm and this is an A B perm. These two are A perms from another angle. We can see the headlights here and we can see the two block here. Headlights and a two block here. But we cannot know for certain that this is a two by two block because we cannot see this side. However, what makes A perm stand out is this checkerboard type pattern, which is a reoccurring alternating color sequence. With that, we can know for sure that this is an A perm, because the only other option is actually a G perm, which looks like this, and we don't have this alternating color sequence. From this angle, we have headlights here and headlights here, but we still don't know for certain that these are A perms. To know that, we need to look at these two stickers that aren't a part of this headlights, and to see if they are of opposite color opposite color. Another thing we should look for is that the headlights are no longer a part of a checkerboard pattern like it was from the other side. Not a part of a checkerboard pattern. The only options when you see headlights like this are R perms, which do have a checkerboard pattern, and G perms that don't have opposite stickers here. 
From this angle, we can see a two block here and a two block here. But as we already know, if we look at bookends here or here, we know there are headlights somewhere. So we look for the opposing headlights here and we know the headlights are here. So there's a block here and headlights here. Same thing here. You can see two block here and an opposing headlights here. So there's headlights here and a block here. But we still don't know for certain that this is an A perm because it could be a G perm. To know that this is an A perm, we look at these two stickers as we already know from another angle that those are opposing stickers. Here, two opposing colored stickers. If we don't have an opposing colored stickers, like here, it's a G perm. E perms are actually really easy to recognize. We can see that there are no headlights and there are no bookends. This narrows down to E, N, V, or Y perm. But what makes E perms stand out the most is this three stickers checkerboard pattern. And we can see this pattern no matter which angle we look at. The only similar looking PLL is the VPERM, but VPERM has four stickers checkerboard pattern. Recognizing an FPERM is really straightforward. You can see three stickers that are of the same color and two stickers that are not. From this side, you can see three stickers that are of the same color and two stickers that are not. But what about from this angle? Now, from this angle, you can see that there are bookends. Bookends means that there are headlights somewhere. These two are opposite headlights, which mean the headlights are here. But how will we know that this is an F perm? If we look at the four center stickers, we see a checkerboard pattern. And this checkerboard pattern only appears in F perm. The other parallel which it appears in, it's a V perm, but V perm doesn't have bookends. The other angle for, for F perm, we can see again, four sticker checkerboard pattern. This time, the reverse headlights are here, which means the block is here in the back. These are GA and GC. Both have headlights and a two block that's next to the headlights. From this angle, the only PLL that looks like this is an A perm. However, for A perm, we have a four sticker checkerboard pattern, whereas in G perms, we don't. This is how an A perm looks. And this is a G perm, only by looking at this sticker. From this angle, we can only see headlights here and here. Now, there are many options here. It could be an A perm, it could be another G perm, it could be an R perm. But what different with this case is that GA and GC have a four sticker checkerboard pattern, as you see here. Another thing you can see that these two stickers are adjacent to one another. Other G perms, A perms, or R perms don't have these properties. From this angle, we have a two by one block here and here in the middle. We also have bookends here and here. This means that we have a headlight somewhere. If we look at the opposite headlights, we know that the headlights are here. This means that two by one block and headlights, it's a G perm and the one with the two by one block connected to it. From this angle, we have bookends here and here. We also have a three stickers checkerboard pattern here and here. The reverse headlights here means that the headlights are here in the back. And the three sticker checkerboard pattern will be right opposite to the two by one block here. You need to make sure that the three sticker pattern is facing one side 
and the reverse headlights are on the other side. If it isn't, it's an upper. These PLLs are GB and GD. They both have headlights and a 2x1 block on the other side. From this angle, we have headlights here and headlights here. Now, there are many options, but if we look closely, we'll see that every sticker here, but one in the middle, creates a checkerboard pattern. Here as well, every sticker, except one in the middle, creates a checkerboard pattern. The 2x1 block will be closer to us here. And the 2x1 block will be here, closer to us. From this angle, we see headlights here and headlights here. These two stickers are adjacent, and this sticker is opposite. Since these two stickers are adjacent, this is not an apron. And since there's no four sticker pattern here, it's not a GC or a GA. In this case, the 2x1 block will be away from us. And here in the back. From this angle we can see bookends here and here. We can also see a two sticker block here and here connected to the bookends. According to the opposite headlights here, the headlights should be here, as you see. And the opposite headlights here means this is here. This means it can only be a GB GD or one of the A perms. However, we have here two adjacent stickers and here two adjacent stickers, whereas A perm has two opposing stickers. From this angle, we can see bookends here and bookends here. We can also see an inner 2x1 block here. Looking at the opposite headlights, we know that the headlights are here and opposite headlights here. This means we have a block here, headlights here, block here, headlights here, which means it's a GB or a GD perm. H perms are super straightforward. Regardless of the angle, you will always see two headlights and an opposing colored edge between them. It's pretty obvious that these are JA and JB because there is a 3x2 block here and 3x2 block here. From other angles you'll see a two, two sticker blocks like here and here. But you must make sure that you have bookends like here and here because if you have these two blocks and you don't have bookends, it's an end perm. And perms looks the same from every angle. They have two two stickers blocks and no bookends. These are our perms. You can see the headlights here and here and a two by one block that's connected to the headlights. You can see that these two stickers are different from one another. The only other PLL that looks like this from this angle is a T-perm, but for a T-perm, these two stickers are the same. To identify an R-perm from this angle, you look for the headlights here or here. You can see that it's a part of a five-sticker checkerboard pattern. No other PLL has a five-sticker checkerboard pattern like this. From this angle, we have bookends here and here. And we know that the headlights are here in the back and here in the back. We know that it's an upper because of the three stickers checkerboard pattern that's a part of the reverse headlights. Or here, where there's a three sticker checkerboard pattern. From this angle, we can see bookends here and here and a two sticker block here and here. 
these two stickers here are adjacent, which means it's not an aperm here, adjacent as well. And these two stickers are also adjacent, which means it's not a G perm. This is an R perm because these are adjacent and these are adjacent. This is a T perm. We can see headlights here and a two by one block here. These two stickers will be the same. If they're not the same, it will be an R perm like this. Recognition is the same from the other angle, like so. Headlights, two by one block, and these two stickers are the same. From this angle, we can see bookends here, a two by one block here, and reverse headlights here. This means that the headlights are here in the back. We know that it's a T-perm when we have two reverse headlights here, and these two stickers next to it are also opposite one another. This is the same for the other angle, opposite headlights and opposite stickers. These are U-perms. From this angle, you can see a 3x1 block on the left and headlights on the right. To know which U-perm it is, you look at the sticker between the headlights. If the sticker is adjacent, you know it's a U-A-perm. If the sticker is opposite, you know it's a U-B-perm. If the 3x1 block is on the right, the U-A-perm will have an opposite color edge and the U-B-perm will have an adjacent color edge. From this angle, we'll have headlights with an adjacent color edge in the middle and the other headlights with an opposite color edge in the middle. If the opposite color edge is on the right, it's UA. If the opposite color edge is on the left, it's UB. From this side, we have two sets of headlights and each edge is of the adjacent color. However, one adjacent color is of the same color as the other headlights. If the same color headlights are on the right, it's UA. If the same color headlights are on the left, it's UB. This is a V-perm. We can see a 2x2 two two block here, and we can see that there are no bookends, which means it's not an AA or AB-perm. Recognition for these two angles is the same. There are no headlights, there are no bookends. There's only a two sticker block here or here on the outside. If the two sticker block is on the inside, however, it's a Y perm like this. Recognition from this side is really easy. If you remember that the opposite side of the two by two block there's a 2x2 two two block with checkerboard pattern. However, there are no bookends. If there were bookends, it would be an F-perm like this. This is a Y-perm, and it's the only PLL that has two two stickers block on each side. Recognition of Y-perm from these two angles is the same. No headlights, no bookends, only two by one block here in the middle, and the same color stickers around this block. Looking at this angle, you can see that there are no headlights and no bookends. You can see that the two outermost stickers have a checkerboard pattern. This is a Z-perm, and from two opposite angles, you can see a checkerboard pattern over all of the stickers. From the two other angles, you can see two headlights and two adjacent color edges. However, no edge is of the same color as the two other headlights.